Hello and welcome to the second of the Barista Care films. My name is Tim from United Baristas and today we're going to be exploring some of the issues around being furloughed and using the coronavirus job retention scheme. What follows is an edited Zoom chat with Jess, who's head of people at Watch House, a coffee shop chain in central London, and we look through some of the issues around being furloughed, what that means for coffee shop staff, and also what it means for employers. Hi Jess, how are you? I'm very good, I'm very good, how are you? Yeah, I'm really well. It's really lovely to catch up with you this afternoon. Hey, just can you start out by telling us who you are and what you do? Yeah, of course. So I'm Jess. Um, I am head of people at Watch House, um, which is a UK coffee company. So I guess with the, once the lockdown came and all the coffee shops were shut, then what would have happened is that all of those jobs would have been lost. Most people would have been made redundant. But at that point, the government introduced the coronavirus job retention scheme. Do you just want to talk a little bit about that? Like, what's its purpose? Yeah, so it's got one simple purpose and the purpose is to keep people in employment, to allow people to retain their jobs and to allow employers to continue to employ people even though their day-to-day jobs may be non-existent at the moment. And the way that we are keeping people and um, keeping people's jobs open is by furloughing them. And I have to say, when when it was announced that there was going to be a furlough scheme, I I had to rush to the internet to Google the term. I wasn't familiar with it at all. What yeah. about you? So I did the same. I jumped yeah. straight onto Google. Um, and the definition of furlough, um, in short, is an employer putting an employee on leave. Um, but I had a really interesting um, tweet that said, you know, who on earth heard of furlough before a few weeks ago. None of us had, and it was a term that existed, but we'd just never been in a position to use it. So if I'm a barista and I have been furloughed, I'm going to get my wages paid for by the government, but how do I get my money? Yeah, good question. And I think this is the question on everyone's lips. Alongside the job retention scheme, the government announced that they would be covering 80% of an employee's salary. But the portal to do this wasn't launched at that time. So it was down to employers to be making those payments as normal to their employees. Um, So if if I'm a coffee shop employee or a coffee company employee and I've been furloughed, I should be getting my my wage on the same pay cycle that I would normally get it, whether it's weekly or fortnightly or monthly. Yeah, that should be continuing to happen. But I suppose we've both heard of cases when companies actually are in a position where they can't afford to do this. And so some baristas haven't been paid um, and they're waiting for those payments to be made. When will companies start to be able to get money from the government so that they can free up those funds and pass it on to their employees? The government portal um, to be able to apply for the furlough payments opened on Monday. It was actually 10 days ahead of schedule, which is great. Um, And once successful applications have been made through the portal by your employer, the money should be with the employer within six working days. So we're actually talking on Tuesday, and so the portal opened yesterday. So I guess for those people who haven't yet been paid their furlough pay, they can expect that to start to come through from the employees next week. Yeah, so Tuesday, we would think, Tuesday um, at the earliest is the day that it would land in bank accounts. Of course, we've got to take into consideration the way that people are paid. So BACS normally takes two to three days to process. So I think it's safe to say the earliest, the end of next week, um, but at least there's like an end in sight. But that's definitely a point which people should be talking to their coffee companies about when they're expecting the money to come through because everyone should start to have line of sight. For sure, and I think communication is key in this time. So, you know, people should be expecting communication from their employer as to when they expect them to be receiving their pay. Um, And if they haven't, then just reach out you know, ask the question. There's there's no harm in asking that question and making sure you have all yeah. the information that you need.
Absolutely. How did how did Watch House find using the portal to be able to make their registration for the furlough pay? So we're lucky we've got a dedicated team to do that. It wasn't down to me, um, but very simple. We've had a couple of people reach out to us and I think James tweeted an interesting example. So baristas often work variable hours each week and so their pay varies from week to week. So when you're um, filling out the on the portal, there's a question that says, how is this employee paid? And I'll show you on my phone. How's this employee paid? Yeah. And there's an option. You can select um, a variable amount each time or a regular amount. And if you select a variable amount, the portal then tells you that it's unable to calculate this at this time and you should come back. So yeah. how did Watch House manage to get the applications in so that your baristas, um, you could be reimbursed for the monies that you were paying to your baristas? Yeah, so we sort of tasked our house managers, um, which is what we call our cafe managers with this. So they took an average of... Um, 12 weeks working hours for each of our staff, um, which gave us an average weekly earning for each of them. And then we calculated it as a fixed amount based on that. So while people are on furlough, you're allowed to do some things, but you're not allowed to do others. So what you're not allowed to do is work for your employer, but there are other things you can do. Um, Maybe can you just talk through some of the things that the Watch House team are doing while they're on furlough? We've given our teams, all all of our furloughed employees, access to training, coffee training and menu training. We were very luckily given access to um, a training portal called Barista Hustle, which um, is a great resource for baristas. And they are offering their training courses, which normally cost, I think, around $150, completely free. Um, to baristas at this time and so it's just a great way for baristas to expand their knowledge learn new things um, and access training that really sort of stimulates them I mean it's a great opportunity to be able to upskill your coffee knowledge while you've got this window of time and also there's other um, there's other online resources available as well like Open University always has a lot of courses that you can do for little or no cost How are you looking after the health and well-being of your teams while while they're on furlough as well? Because lots of the coffee community are really sociable and then all of a sudden being more isolated and at home is can be a challenge for some. I suppose this was at the forefront of everything that we wanted to do. Um, we've started an Instagram live. So Ryan, who's our head of coffee, presents what we're calling the Modern Coffee Series on Instagram every Thursday at 10 a.m. Josh, who's one of our um, house managers, he actually put a document together um, about well-being during this difficult time, um, which we circulated amongst all of our employees. Um, and it just focused on the really simple things like, you know, keeping to a routine during your day, enjoying the small things, um, you know, eating really well, sleeping really well, all the things that we know we should be doing, but actually, you know, it's easy to sort of forget about them during this, um, you know, during this tough time. Yeah, absolutely. Like, we're trying to keep as much structure in our lives as possible. Like, we watch a documentary each Thursday night and we do a dinner party for us at home and we dress up a little bit on a Saturday. And just by having these little juncture points during the week, it's really helping us cope with living in a lockdown environment. Actually, yeah. you should um, you should come to for barista care. We're doing a weekly yoga session at ten thirties on Thursday mornings. Yeah, and you just dial in over Zoom, so you could go straight from the Watch House live interview straight into yoga. Yeah, get into your yoga gear and then straight <laughs> into yoga, which would be amazing. And off the back of what you said, we've been having. Um, a digital Sunday lunch with our family on um, at two o'clock every Sunday, which we really enjoy. Um, daily calls with them, so just sort of, you know, checking in and keeping in touch. Um, and my four-year-old absolutely loves the Joe Wicks workouts. Hey, um, Jess, it's been really lovely to catch up with you and thanks very much for sharing your insights. Um, it's a really fast-moving situation, isn't it? And there's still some things that have to be worked out. So 
look, let's keep in touch over the coming weeks and maybe we need to get you back on as the situation evolves a little bit more and there's more information to communicate. Yeah, I'd love that. I'd love that. And I think, you know, the key thing is if you are in search of information, it's probably there. So, you know, Google is our best friend, I think, in these times. And, you know, government websites are full of really good, detailed information. Um, Your employers should be on hand to give you any guidance and answer any questions that you've got. Um, And just keep talking, keep the communication open, whether you're, you know, talking to fellow baristas or your employer or, you know, your friends and family, like communication is key in these times. And I think that's what probably will get us through. Couldn't agree more. Love you, see you as always. Take care. Ciao. Thanks very much for joining us today. I hope that you found that useful. We want the coffee community to be supported during the lockdown and ready to flourish in a post-COVID-19 world. Find out more about the support that's available to baristas and coffee professionals at baristacare.unitedbaristas.com.